So if you think you have a bad brake booster, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad brake booster and how you go about testing to see if it has failed. And so the number one symptom when a brake booster fails is that the brake pedal is just gonna be hard to push. The brake booster is there to make the pedal easier to push for the driver. And so if that brake pedal is very, very hard to push, then that's the main symptom that a brake booster has failed. And so how do you test that that brake booster has failed? Well, there's a simple test that you could do. And basically with the engine off, you pump the pedal like three times that way you discharge it. And then you hold the pedal and you start the engine. If the pedal goes down, then that usually means that it's working. But if it doesn't go down, if it stays hard when the engine starts, then that usually means that it's failed. I'll go through the steps right now. And so the first step was with the engine off is to pump this brake pedal like three times. And it's gonna get hard. You basically wanna discharge that brake booster. And so now I'm gonna hold down on the pedal so I can feel it kind of firm and I'm gonna go ahead and start up the engine. If the brake pedal moves down a little bit, then that means that it's working. If it doesn't move down and it stays where it's at, then that's a sign that the brake booster's failed. And so yeah, that pedal did go down, so that means that booster is working. If it didn't go down, then that means it's having an issue. If that brake pedal doesn't go down and you are having an issue with the brake booster, the first thing to look for is to look for any kind of vacuum leak. And you can come out and you can listen for like any kind of hissing noise. Because if there is a vacuum leak, then one of these hoses or some spot is gonna be hissing. It could be damaged inside, but quite commonly, the vacuum going to the booster is leaking and is causing an issue. Since the brake booster does need a vacuum to work properly, so basically listen for any hissing noise that might be coming from the brake booster and check out the brake booster vacuum hose that goes into the engine and be sure that it's not leaking and there's no issues there because a bad hose or a vacuum leak is a very common cause of a brake booster that's not working. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad brake booster and how you go about telling if it has failed. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.